Welcome back to fifth gear. When you think of Lexus, what immediately springs to mind? Luxury cars, technology, hybrids, and not a scrap of excitement ever. Never in its 20 year history has Lexus ever made a car that really turned people on. Well, things are about to change. We've seen the leaked videos. Heard the rumors. Now it appears to be true. Lexus have got a pulse and it's racing. Meet the £51,000 ISF. Buried deep within Lexus were a couple of engineers bored of luxury barges. They wanted to make something super quick that was bristling with feel to reward the driver. So they started working away after hours roped in a few like-minded mates to help out, and when they eventually presented their idea for a red-hot Lexus, the boardroom loved it. Cars built by engineers rather than spreadsheets tend to go down in history. So, is the ISF about to become an iconic car built by enthusiasts for enthusiasts? Well, give me five minutes and I'll let you know. OK, let's start with the gearbox, because it's a world first. It may also mean that we've got to change the name of our programme, because it's got eight. Yes, eight gears. I can either leave it in automatic when it's as smooth as you'd expect a Lexus to be, but I've also got the ubiquitous paddle shift. One thing I noticed on the downshift, with all paddle changes, the annoying thing is when you ask for a gear and it won't go down. And here, they just annoy you a bit more by... Bleeping at you! Shut up! No. Shut up! Shut up! Give me another gear! Shut up! And that's not the end of it, because if you don't change up before the rev limiter and there's no change up lights, you get... The bleep! I know! I'll change gear! Shut up! Just give me a gear! Bleep! I need a child with a laptop to delete that from my computer. The engine is the V8 from the Lexus LS600, which has been given to Yamaha's motorsport division for a serious makeover. And they are people who know a bit about excitement. When it comes to performance, the ISF matches the BMW M3, virtually top trump for top trump. They're both rear-wheel drive. The ISF has got 417 bhp, three more than the BMW, and despite it being about 20 kilograms heavier, it gets to 62 a tenth of a second faster. In fact, the only other really big difference is in the way that that power is produced. BMW having a high revving 4 litre V8, whereas this has got a big, more muscular 5 litre with a lower rev band and a much throatier roar. And I have to say, I love it. Shut up. Shut up with your rev changing beep. Specially tuned suspension that lowers the ISS stance and whacking great vents behind the front wheels to help cool the enormous brakes are the result of a punishing test schedule. There's never been a Toyota road car so thoroughly developed on racetracks. I just had to see whether the ISF was up to the job. Oh, oh that's keen. Oh, that's very keen. <laughs> well, the smiles on my face straight away. And instantly, the, the turn into the corner is very positive. Oh, it's a chicane here. Left. Good turn in. And right. Plenty of oversteer. Oh, and those boings are going off. Shut up! After a few laps, I'm beginning to think, if anything, that this Lexus is a bit too keen to go to oversteer it doesn't need any encouragement for me, that's for sure. A good turn in, but then straight away, the bat's not out. Onto the straight. Onto 
the speed are we going to pull? How many gears will we need? Fourth, we're into fifth gear. And we're going to get to the end of the main strip at 220 kph at 6,500 revs. So you only need five gears on the circuit. Well, there's no doubt that for a company that's more used to making big luxury saloons, their engineers have now come up with something that's very sporty and a lot of fun. A car's engine is the only thing that should be noisy. Yeah, I mean, I do agree with him about the gear change, but I've driven that car and the rest of it is absolutely awesome. And don't forget, they'll only bring in 150 of those this year, so it's going to be a lot more exclusive than your commoner's muck M3s. That's it.